Hello, I'm Pastor Dumaresk, also known as Brother Dumaresk. People at the church here, the Pentecostal Church of our Lord Jesus Christ, they just call me Brother D or Pastor D because they can't get their tongue around my last name. By now you should have detected there's a slight accent. Well, the reason for that is I was born and bred in South Africa the first 27 years of my life. I lived in uh, the, on the east coast, the city of Durban, which is known as uh, the Hawaii of South Africa or the Florida of South Africa. And my father and mother, they were born in South Africa. And you're probably wondering uh, if maybe my parents were missionaries. No, they weren't. My uh, grandfather and grandmother was in Scotland. They emigrated to South Africa for a better life, which they did fine. Of course, uh, my mom and dad both being born in South Africa, I came along. And uh, as a young child, my father divorced my mother. So I really never did know my father. And it was very difficult. So several years later, my mother decided to get remarried. And of course, I was placed in a boy's home uh, or an orphanage, as you'd call it, while my mother tried to get her life straightened out. Of course, after I finished in the orphanage, I went in the wrong direction. My brother, elder brother, was a leader of a small gang. I followed in his footsteps. And of course, I got into trouble with the law and I got in trouble with authorities. And they told me that I was incorrigible. I would never change. Well, around about this time, Someone introduced me to the Lord Jesus Christ. I repented of my sins, baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, and I'm glad to tell you that God changed me. When they said I was incorrigible, that I'd never changed, Jesus Christ in His power did change me and turn me around. I served in the church for a little while, several years, and I decided to sharpen uh, my sickle and uh, in my ministry. So I, I came to the United States of America, went to Portland, Oregon, on the West Coast to Conqueror's Bible College, where I served four years, did an internship. After that, I decided to evangelize for about five years. It was late 1979, and around 1980 that I became pastor of this church from which I'm speaking to you right now, the Pentecostal Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we're not a large church, we're kind of a small church, family orientated, but we've had a lot of ministries go out from our church. Our church is a very strong theological position on the oneness of God, baptism in Jesus' name. We also believe in academics and education. Our associate pastor is from the Urshan College, and of course, he's going for his doctorate. So we do believe in education. We, of course, as I said before, we believe in academics. Uh, and uh, But we also want to remind you that we also believe in the power of the Spirit of God. Because on the day of Pentecost, uh, it wasn't uh, the claim of uh, strong theological position or academics or education that got the attention of the people. It was the supernatural tool of Almighty God, baptizing the people with the power of the Holy Ghost uh, to the evidence of speaking with other tongues. Uh, and so we invite you to our church where you will not just find a, a strong theological position or just academics or education but you will experience the touch of the supernatural power of Almighty God. Also we have in our church a retired missionary who's also evangelizing brother and sister Votar who's been a great blessing to our church. So we just invite you to come visit us at the Pentecostal Church of our Lord Jesus Christ and, and we trust that your experience will be a greatly spiritual experience. God bless you waiting to see you.